वेलकम लिटरेचर एंथोसियस्ट हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर गेरिंग अप फॉर द यू जी सी नेट इंग्लिश एग्जाम इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर बाई एक्सप्लोरिंग एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पॉपुलर मैगजीन्स एंड जर्नल आई एम अर्चना वाविया एंड टूगेदर वी विल अन ट्रेवल द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन यू शुड फोकस ऑन फॉर द यू जी सी नेट इंग्लिश एग्जाम इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी Question number 1 Who is credited as the founder of Gentleman's Magazine Option A Edward Cave Option B Joseph Edison Option C Samuel Johnson Option D Richard Steele The correct answer over here is yes absolutely correct it is ep- Edward Cave okay Edward Cave is credited as the founder of Gentleman's magazine well then let's move ahead to question number 2 let's look at the question 2 which publication is historically recognized as the first to use the term magazine to describe itself A the Spectator B the Rambler C the London Magazine D the Gentleman's Magazine The correct answer over here is the Gentleman's Magazine Now this is the periodical that first referred to itself using the term magazine So the correct answer over here is option D the Gentleman's Magazine option D is correct Let's proceed to question 3 question 3 how many issues of the spectator were published on daily basis a 333 b 444 c 555 d 666 the correct answer over here is yes absolutely correct indeed the correct answer is option c 555 The Spectator was published daily for a total of five hundred and fifty-five issues. So the correct answer over here is option C. Option C, five hundred and fifty-five is correct. Let's look at the question four. Which short-lived periodical was edited by Samuel Taylor Coleridge? Four options are given: A, The Guardian; B, The Watchman; C, The Observer; D, The Spectator. The correct answer over here is The Watchman. Now, Samuel Taylor Coleridge edited a short-lived periodical called The Watchman. So, well then, the option four, the correct option is option B, The Watchman. Question fifth: Who co-founded the literary and artistic journal Germ in the mid nineteenth century, which aimed to showcase the talents of the pre-Raphaelite brotherhood? A. William Morris, B. Dante Gabriel Rossetti, C. John Ruskin, D. Christina Rossetti. Yes, the correct answer over here is option B. Dante Gabriel Rossetti. Now you must remember that Dante Gabriel Rossetti co-founded the literary and artistic journal Germ. Okay, so here the option B is correct. Dante Gabriel Rossetti. Question six: Which famous Victorian author served as the first editor of Bentley's Miscellany, a literary magazine published between eighteen thirty seven and eighteen sixty eight? Option A: Charles Dickens. Option B: Charlotte Bronte. Option C: William Macpherson Thackeray. Option D: Elizabeth Gaskell. So over here, the correct answer is. Charles Dickens option A is correct okay Charles Dickens served as the first editor of Bentley's Miscellany this question is very very important so yes the correct answer over here is option A Charles Dickens next question is which prominent literary figure contributed as an editor to the English Review during its early years influencing the magazine's impact on modernist literature option a d h lawrence option b catherine mansfield option c ezra pound and option d e m foster 
सो द करेक्ट आंसर ओवर इ इज ऑप्शन सी एजरा पाउंड Now Ezra Pound did contribute to the English Review during its early year making a significant impact on modernist literature in case if you have got this question this complicated question correct then well done okay just well done question 8 poetry a magazine of verse was established by Henry Munro in which year option a 1910 option b 1923 option c 1905 option d 1912 so the correct answer over here is option d 1912 okay option d is correct poetry a magazine of verse was founded by herbert munro in the year 1912 so option d is correct Next question which literary magazine founded in 1882 played a crucial role in the development of american literary realism and published works by renowned authors like henry james mark twain and edith wharton option a atlantic monthly option b harper's magazine option c the saturday's evening post option d the dial so again the correct answer over here would be option a the atlantic monthly okay so the atlantic monthly founded in 1857 played a crucial role in the development of american literary realism well done if you were able to answer this question correctly question 10 which art and literary magazine known for its bold design and association with the wattist movement had only two issues published in 1914 and 1915 and was co-edited by wyndham lewis option a rhythm option b the letter review option c blast option d the dial so the correct answer over here is blast option c is correct so blast was the art and literary magazine associated with the wattist movement co-edited by wyndham lewis so option c is correct let's look at the question 11 which literary magazine founded in 1922 became known for promoting modernist literature and publishing works by authors like virginia wolf ts eliot and james joyce option a the criterion दूसरे तो ऑप्शन पढ़ने की भी ज़रूरत नहीं है बिकॉज करेक्ट आंसर ओवर ईयर इज क्राइटेरियन अ क्राइटेरियन फाउंडेड इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी टू बाई टी एस एलियट वॉज नोन फॉर प्रमोटिंग मॉडर्नस लिटरेचर एंड पब्लिश वर्कस बाय नोटेबल ऑथर्स सो द करेक्ट आंसर ओवर ईयर इज क्राइटेरियन क्वेश्चन टूवेल्व टी सॉल क्वार्टरली इज अ रिनाउंड academic journal in the field of english language teaching what does tesol stand for option a teaching english as a second language or other language option b the english studies and online learning option c testing english skills of language option d technology in english for speakers of other language so the correct answer over here is option a tesol stands for teaching english as a second or other language question 13 during the neoclassical age which literary magazine founded in 1750 by samuel johnson aimed to provide moral and ethical reflections and showcased johnson's distinctive essay the uh, distinctive style of essay writing so option a the rambler b spectator the tatler and d the guardian so the correct answer over here is option a the rambler the rambler was literary magazine founded by samuel johnson in 1750 during the neo classical age it featured johnson's essay with moral and ethical reflections 
so yes this is an important question which you can expect in the year 2024 Question 14. Founded in 1802, the Edinburgh Review was a prominent literary magazine of the Romantic period. Who were the key figures often associated with its founding and early editorial direction? Option A. William Wordsworth and Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Option B. Lord Byron and Percy Bushy Shelley. Option C. Thomas De Quincey and John Keats. Option D. Francis Jeffrey and Sidney Smith. Over here, if you look, the question is quite complicated. The question is uh, targeted on uh, Edinburgh Review. So, if you see the correct answer over here is option D. Francis Jeffrey and Sidney Smith were key figures associated with founding an early editorial direction of Edinburgh Review. So option D is correct. Last and final question, question 15, founded in 1809. The quarterly review was conservative literary journal who were the prominent figures associated with its establishment and early editorial direction. A. William Wordsworth and Samuel Taylor Coleridge, B. Lord Byron and Percy Bushy Shelley, Option C. John Murray and George Kenning, Option D. Thomas De Quincey and the answer over here is Option C. John Murray and George Kenning. Option C is correct. John Murray and George Kenning were indeed associated with the establishment and early editorial direction of the quarterly review. Option C, John Murray is correct. So, these are the 15 questions for the upcoming UGC NET English exam in 2024, covering various literary magazines and genres from different historical periods. I hope you found them interesting and informative. If you have more questions or if there is a specific topic you would like to explore, feel free to let me know. This is Archana Bhavya signing off. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. Best of luck with your UGC net preparations and I will see you in the next video.